Hello, I'm David Fernandez, manager and owner of Frog in the Bull. Uh, we are an Iberian-inspired restaurant, you know, high-quality food, high-quality service, uh, what I call a classy, sexy ambiance, um, a great place for date night, a place that, uh, you know, is family-friendly as well. Um, when COVID came along and just forced us to shut our dining down, uh, we literally reinvented ourselves overnight by creating the takeout and delivery service and a menu that was relevant to that situation. So like I told my crew, I said, we've got to become one badass food truck without wheels overnight. Um, and so that's what we did. And from day one, uh, you know, March 17th, when the order was put out, March 18th, we had our first go at the menu. Uh, I actually rejected it, I sent my crew back to the drawing board. And then March 19th, we came out with our takeout and delivery menu. It was pretty solid and even, it's even evolved since then uh, and it's only gotten better and better. Before COVID-19 came along, we were actually already in the middle of a brand pivot. Um, we had learned some things about our market, you know, from when we opened up mid-November, uh, you know, and like a lot of things, uh, some things work, some things don't, you know, it's a learning curve. And so we were pretty excited to come out with our new menu, which was, overhauling about about half the menu you know we kept roughly half of our top performers and the other half uh, a quarter of them were dropped and a quarter of them were replaced with new items uh, so our new menu is uh, it's even better you can't go wrong ordering any of our tapas recently on our entrees some of the things that we've added is we added a, a braised short rib a slow braised short rib that is not so short as a big bone with a lot of meat, it is phenomenal. It's done with that Iberian inspiration in terms of the seasoning and style, but short rib is something that uh, almost everyone in Texas is familiar with, right? We're just doing it our way. It's a badass dish. One of, one of the dishes that are on the menu now that are one of, is one of my more proud dishes is our, is our chuleton de buoy. Chuleton de buoy is a, just, a, it's just a bone in ribeye. Everyone's familiar with the bone in ribeye, right? but it is a big 25, 26 ounce steak that feeds two seasoned our way and it is phenomenal. Uh, so those are things you've got to try if you have a chance. I mean, any, everything, everything on our menu, you've got to try. I mean, and that's one of the things I love about our menu is that you cannot, you cannot um, conquer it in one sitting. You're gonna, you're gonna have to come back to hit. There's enough optionality that you're gonna have to come back, but you're gonna wanna come back because one sitting is gonna be that good. Yes, yeah, Cider Ranch has been great. Uh, the level of support's been awesome. Um, we had enough time under our belt that we had established uh, a, a base of regulars. I wouldn't go as far to call it a strong base, but it was, it, it, was, it was a pretty solid base for where we were at only at the time, only four and a half months old. And I can't tell you how many people walked through that door, I mean, almost without fail saying, hey, we're here to support you. We want to see you guys, we want to see you guys survive. Uh, let's just get you by, let's get you to the other side. And, uh, you know, we, uh, for example, we just made the news. We had a very generous patron come in here and drop, uh, you, know, with, you know, over $1,600 in tippage for one of our servers in the house. And uh, it received a lot of notoriety and even made national news, which, of course, we were happy to accept that um, in all forms, both the money as well as the, as, as well, as well as the attention. Uh, but I will say the community in general has been very generous, and we have patrons that maybe didn't drop it in one visit, but they dropped it over the course of that period, this, you know, generous amounts. So, uh, and those have kept us alive. Without them, without them we... We, we, may not, we may not be talking today. Favorite alcoholic drink. Uh, if I'm in the mood for liquor, that's my shelf right there, the bourbon shelf. Uh, the bourbon scotches, the whiskeys, uh, all the browns, that's what I, that's what I like. Uh, when it comes to beer, I'm a wimp. I just like a light beer, you know. Come to Frog and the Bull, you're gonna love it.